Hello, we are Geeks Assembled. Hello. Have you missed us? We've been away for a few weeks and um, we're glad to be back talking movies and everything like that. Um, and this week we are talking a Marvel movie, of course. Um, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, starring Benedict Cum 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 uh, Cabbage Patch. Huh? Yeah. I'm a chameleon? Cam chameleon. Yeah, that's it. Benedict Cam a chameleon. No. Uh, <laughs> Benedict Benedict Cumberbatch, of course. What a name. <laughs> And this is his second movie where he plays the lead as Doctor Strange. I mean, he's been in the other Avengers movies, but this is his second solo outing, so to speak. Um, it's a, a tale of him, Wanda, the Scarlet Witch, of course, and things what happened in when the multiverse is opened up and you go into parallel worlds and stuff like that. So I will go over to Susan for an opening thoughts on Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. All right. Well, thanks, Lee. I'm really glad to be back. I had a really great vacation. Thanks for letting me, uh, you know, sort of uh, rest hey. and stuff. It's, I wasn't letting you. you know, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Well, um, I, I, I. Thank you for letting me let you have some time off. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Um, we, uh, we enjoyed ourselves quite heartily and went up to Alaska and it was great. We went on a cruise and it was gorgeous. And, um, uh, but like this movie is really, really pretty. It's got some super amazing visuals. It's like super intricate visualizations and um, it's more than just the magic. It's the, the sets and the, and the floors and like the, the skies and the, the sounds are really amazing. It's, it's just a really, really intricate, delightfully created piece of, of, of artwork. It's just, that, that's what it is. It's just, it's multi-dimensional artwork. And let me tell you, it's like the, the way it's actually like, all right, first of all, it's actually a direct sequel to what if it seems you're, uh, you're getting the same, the same kind of thing that he was doing in the what if uh, here, it's just like he pulls he, he's pulling on all of reality, trying to find a way to be with Christine still. I mean, that's his whole, that's his whole deal. Like he, he screwed up and now he want, and, and I guess it's sort of started out with him at her wedding and it wasn't with him, it was with somebody else. And yep. That that must have really been like, and he kind of just appeared there through like a multiversal push, and I mean, talk about awkward and and uh, just <laughs> jolting and oh, heartbreaking all at the same time. And he did, and Cumber Benedict Cumberbatch is a really good actor, and he he did he did play, pull pull those tough moments off well. That one and. You know, there's there's one that I'll I'll say is my favorite moment later, but he also um, the 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 other thing that he did really uh, that that they did really well was they introduced a new character, the Star Girl, I think is what her name. I don't know what her name is. I don't know. She, her 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 mundane name before her you know her her superhero name is America. Uh, Morales, no, America, something like that. Chavez. Chavez, yes, and she is a she is a gem. She's really a cool uh, character. He, she's got an inor inordinate amount of power in that she can move between, hop between um, uh, realities 
uh, hot between universes and and in that she kind of reminds me of what uh, Pratchett and this other guy were doing in the, the, the long Earth, long Mars, long long cosmos series, um, which is just those those people are called steppers, and it's a it's a really good science fiction series. It's it's about people who travel in space and travel through universals, and, and like the universes travel is actually <laughs> quite more quite a bit more in depth and takes quite a long time. Like it doesn't, they're, it's not just immediate, like it moves through time. And so that's a really interesting thing too, is that this this kind of mimics that. So I, I think that they must have drawn from that perspective because some in some places, like you go from universe to universe and it, and it takes time where you go forward and back in time. And, um, <coughs> I think one of the first places we ever found out about going through universes was in the Star Trek mirror universe thing where they were evil in this other universe. Yeah. But then they, the other reality like trippy thing was that they said that every time you're dreaming, you're, you're just in your other universe living out your other reality. So I gotta tell you, I, I've got some, I, there's some really strange universes out there. Um, uh, oh boy, oh boy, where I dream, oh, it's just trippy stuff anyway. <laughs> anyway, so like, I, I love this movie. Uh, I, I've, I saw it like three times. I, I enjoyed, I checked it out on the plane to Seattle and, uh, and then I watched it on the plane back. It was great. It, it's really, it's really kind of, uh, a brilliant movie and, and so... Yeah, uh, that's pretty much all my opening thoughts on it, and I'd just like to bounce it back over to you, Luke. Uh, cheers for that, Susan. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is um, visually, some of the visuals are amazing in this. Now, every now and again, the slight thinking, if it, oh, that's a little bit uh, bad CGI there, but oh. it's over the, most of it, it's amazing. It's just slight, especially with the third eye. Oh. Um, that did look a bit iffy. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I see what you mean when it's sort of a continuation of what if. Yeah. Um, a, and, also, that... and also, as well, I think they assume the people that Disney or Marvel, whoever, whoever assume that everybody has seen Wonder Vision. Yeah, true. Because not because it, it's a continuation of that for um, you know for, Wonder. Yeah. Um, and if you haven't seen Wonder Vision, you won't know what's going on. Right. You know, because of the boy, you know, her boys, and mm -hmm. you know, there's no vision there, and so uh, that's a slight that jarred with me a bit. They're just assuming that everybody has seen everything they have done, which of course people haven't. Um, and also, it's just a continuation of um, the last Spider Man movie. Um, True. Oh my gosh, yeah. all the references to that. Yeah, you're right. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, so, there's a lot of a lot of things what you sh should really watch before this just to get the gist of what they're talking about, um, which is a bit of a niggle for me. But I have seen this stuff, but other say other people might not have done. Um, it's good to see. Uh, Elizabeth Olsen back as Wonder. Yeah. What a performance. Um, I mean, and, and the, the multiverse, when they open the gateway to all these multiverses, amazing, amazing universes, what they've, they've travelled through. Yeah. Um, not much madness, though, I, I saw. Unless the madness is Wonder's madness. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, because yeah, the multiverse of madness. You think the, these multiverses will be quite insane, but I think I think the madness is wonders madness. Um, yeah, an, an it's an amazing story. Um, because because Star Girl or whatever her name is, the uh, I, I don't think it's Star. They don't really give her a, a superhero name. Anyway, the the woman who who the little the the young woman who. 
shoot stars and then travel through them to get to other universes. Uh, she uh, she has this um, this this trial like for uh, it's all right. I'll get to that later. Yeah, I'll get right, that's good. yeah. Um, putting a pin in that. Yeah, I mean, the movie didn't drag. You know, it was straight in there. I mean, it was directed by Sam Raimi of you know, of the Evil Dead and um, the original Spider-Man trilogy. Um, so Marvel have let him direct this one. And you he, he can tell it's got Sam Raimi all over it. <laughs> Even having um, Bruce Campbell in there. Oh, you know, so... Get a little cameo from Bruce in there. Um, what a cameo! <laughs> choo, choo, choo. Uh, <laughs> but and he kept it. I mean, it's quite a simple story. Wanda wants the girl because she can. She holds the power to open up the universe where her um, dream and uh, her dream sons are. Yeah. Keep. Um, because the, if you hadn't seen WandaVision, <laughs> it all went... You no, know, that, that, that she had given all that up to. Yeah. So, so in, in respect, she she is the villain of the movie. Yeah. Um, but you do feel sorry for her. You do feel sorry for her. But, um, so, as I say, so, and they, they end up in, a, in multiverses, but they end up in one in universe... Where it's um, where there's some familiar faces will turn up, um, uh, known as the uh, was it the Illuminati? Mm -hmm. the Illuminati? Um, also, really, right out of what if the the, the Captain Britain, um, Peg, uh, Peggy Carter, uh, Captain Carter, yeah, um, but it's Captain Britain, really. No, 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 Cap no, no it's Captain Carter. <laughs> Captain, Captain Britain. Okay. Was, Captain Britain was a man. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh! No, it doesn't matter. It, it, the, the captain is Captain Britain was the the super soldier of, for Britain. Am I right? No. Uh, <laughs> no. What is this? I come back for all this sass. Yes. I mean, you also you also got um, Charles Xavier. Uh huh. Patrick Stewart, and, and in, in the in the yellow wheelchair from the comics, and uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, uh, who else did we get? We got um, um, uh, Mr. Mr. Fantastic from Fantastic Four. Mr. Fantastic, but played by a different actor, uh, by John. Um, Chris, was it Krasinski? Yeah. Um, so but, bring oh, in bring, bring in Fantastic Four into this. Movie and also Professor X. Yep. Because these are all from the so uh, Sony. Yes. Franchise of the superhero comics. So hopefully Marvel will do something good with these Pull characters. Pull them all together. Pull them all together yeah. from all their different spots and shove them I mean, all in a movie. And they even had uh, Black Bolt in there um, from the TV series. Yeah. Uh, played by, what's his name now? The, the new Captain Pike. Oh, what's his name? A, a Mount, Mount, Anson Mount? Uh, Anson Mount, yeah. What was it? Yeah, he he played Black Bolt in the TV series. And in this, you also had the new Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a great lineup in that section of the Illuminati. So it was, yeah, a great story, a simple story. I think it was after the book of uh, Book of Come to Me, a shanty was it? A shanty? Yeah, a shanty. To to stop to stop the uh, well, Wanda was after the book, wasn't she? Told yeah, and then there was the, there there was it was basically the two books. There was the Ashan Book of Ashanti versus the Dark Hole. That was it, the Dark Hole. 
the dark hold was like the the and and once the book was gone there was a, they actually found it written on the walls of this place uh, yes yeah uh, that's where uh, the scarlet witch you know, for me, Scarlet, back in the days when I was younger, reading these comics, I mean, I was, I'm always a DC fan, but back in the day, Scarlet Witch was one of my favourite characters. Yeah. <laughs> really was the costume and everything, because she was always with the Avengers. And she, you know, you didn't know how to take her with all the powers. Then uh, Elizabeth Olsen has done a great, great work fleshing this character out. Yeah. And, and it's like, and and it's like Elizabeth Olsen uh, has, um, I, you know, I, I just wish that her siblings, her two two twin sisters, would have gotten something like this because, like, like literally, Elizabeth Olsen is going to be known as Scarlet Witch and as as this character for the rest of her life. Like, she will be like 85 or 90 years old and stuff and people will still be like you know do, doing a drop cameo casting for her in something in the future it's i mean it's just amazing what what living in science fiction or comic book is is it will do for a person and yeah. I, you know i really i really wish for her for her siblings that they get something like this at some point in their lives because it'll change it. Yeah, I mean, for me personally, she acted her socks off in this movie. You know, the the anger, the angst, the the, the madness. Um, I mean, Be Benedict was his normal self, uh, you know, normal Doctor Strange, all the powers and that lot. And, right. But Elizabeth Olsen really did. Such scenery oh, as a as a sort of a, a, a misunderstood villain. Yeah. Um, but I don't think she perished. And 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 this 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 weekend we're doing a couple of mis misunderstood villains. We've got yeah. <laughs> we've got this, this uh, Scarlet Witch, and then we've got the boys. So you know. Yeah. It's it's pretty it's pretty interesting kind of combinations there. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll go. Any things you want to say at the moment? So, or... oh, the moment that I I really liked the the most was when uh was when uh they were draining uh he was draining Star Girl's power, you know. Mm. And then, and then he decided that he wouldn't that he wouldn't do that, and that he had to change that, and then like it changed in the timeline and stuff, and then, and then in the future he do, he 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 doesn't, and it's like, um, he just let lets her be the more powerful one, and like that's just that that whole connect that that was so great. And like that was done so well on film, and then the other thing that was amazing with that was that the acting, like like how how they looked really uh, vexed and and, and uh, saddened by the whole experience and stuff, and like and like uh, it was it was it was mirrored kind of in that like. This would be what Doctor Strange would have been like as a father if he would have married Christine and had a daughter, and she would have been that kind of powerful. And so, and so, then the mirror was like the two kids uh, and and Wanda in the um, and Wanda Maximoff in the in the in the other universe where the the her her family was actually you know was naturally came out through the through that spirit that that period of time i was said uh, that was amazing um, um so those those were good mirror moments like the the vexing like like in the pain and the 
the sadness of that. And so I really like that. And then there was, um, then there was the, uh, when she was, you know, she was channeling the dark old, but then he, he was, he, he went dream walking into his own corpse, that the other <laughs> corpse. And they just, they just finished burying him, burying his own self kind of thing. And then he's up and at him and like, and, and but, you can count on that with Sam Raimi. Well, I was just going to say that, that, that's that section there where he was possessing his own dead body and all these like, uh, Dementor Harry Potter, yeah, exactly Dementor, lying around with this laughing school. That was Evil Dead. That was, that was, that was Evil Dead. That was just that was Sam, Sam Raimi and the Evil Dead. Yes, quite. It was, it was yeah, straight away. Oh, yeah. yay! <laughs> I'm glad we agreed on that. That was that was uh, that was quite uh. Quite a set piece there, like a like a like one that he brings out for all of his all of his things. It was it was really cool, and um, so yeah, I just thought that the, that those moments were amazing, and I also like I also love the beginning part where they take on the the octopus with the one eye and the and the and then like they stab the eye with the with the light pole and you know it's just so and then there was the the guy the the sorcerer supreme and he was um and he i mean he did he was he was a reluctant hero he didn't want to turn his uh his monks into an army he was just not into that idea but he ended up doing it mm -hmm. And that was challenging, you know. You could see that 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 really, sort of, yeah. So I really enjoyed this uh, story, and I think that it was like, it was great to see Benedict Cumberbatch, you know, back as the, as the Doctor Strange that we love, and. Uh, and and some ones that we don't know very much about yet. That's true. And but you know the 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 continuity from what if through the the, the Doctor Strangers that was trying to hook up with Christine through all those multiverses. That was that was really you could see that that really had uh, that played itself out in this, and then there was also the um you know wanda and and these these little areas that she builds with her mind and she built she took a sort of a, de a death scape a red sort of a upside down it was actually more like the upside down with all these dead trees and she just turned she she with her mind turned them into this beautiful apple orchard yep i don't know yep. She's just a, yeah. she, but, you know, she could do that stuff. Why doesn't she clean up the earth, stop global warming, you know, and poverty, do some shit that really fucking works. Well, <laughs> anyway, this is, you know, th these are, these are my questions for, for Marvel and, and DC. What the fuck is the matter with this? Why don't you do the right stuff? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, superheroes. Yeah. Get, we'll just get, say, a, little bit, a little message to to uh, Warner Brothers: Stop canceling your movies. Yeah, yeah. Um, but one of my favorite moments. I mean, you've gone through most of the moments. I would have said. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't but know. you haven't you haven't mentioned this scene. All right, right. Doctor Strange is fighting himself with musical notes. Oh, that, that was, was so amazing. That was just. I didn't expect any of that, but it's so comic book. Yeah. It was just amazing. It was just flinging those notes across there and then from the harp. <laughs> what a great fight scene. That was amazing. And then, of course, the evil Doctor Strange ended, ended up on a spike. <laughs> but, yeah, all in all, it was an enjoyable movie. Um, a very... 
different take. I like the way this, you know, a darker path this movie took than the first one. Yeah. But that's, a, that's Sam Raimi, isn't it? Um, that is Sam Raimi. It, 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 there, was, there was so much of that, of, of those, you know, set pieces that he does. Yeah. Yeah, totally Sam Raimi. And, and to get Bruce Campbell in there, uh, you know, just sneak him in there, wedge it, shoehorn him in there somehow. Mm. <laughs> but, um, so anything else you'd like to say before we go to Final Saints School? Um, yeah, I just, I, I, I want Wanda to have a happy ending now. I'm, I'm tired of her getting the raw end of the deal. And yeah, she, she didn't, she didn't, she, she didn't die. She can't, she was, she's one of the strongest superheroes ever. So, and you do notice at the end that little red flash as it all collapsed. All right. Uh, all right. But I, I think she, even if she's still, you know, I just, I just want her to have a happy ending. I want her to, to find a way to be able to have those those two boys, so two kids, anyway. So that's just, and um, and Doctor Strange is awesome. I, you know, it would be a fun, it would be a fun uh, meet up with him and and Mister Fantastic and and Bruce Banner. You know, like like get some. Get some of the super gal galaxy brains uh, meeting up, yeah, and and have them train up this young America star girl, fat girl. She, I, I'm she sorry, is. that's uh, that's all I could think about of her because of what of what her magic or what her her powers look like. I'm I'm sorry, I. Yeah. I know. Well, I know star girl to DC anyway. I know, so, but there, there isn't a name that really fits. I can't. I mean, to be honest, I don't know. Call her. You could call her like, like Terry Pratchett said in the in his books uh, about the 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 other universes. Um, uh, you could call her Stepper, but Stepper doesn't make give her enough, you know, pizzazz to be a Marvel superhero. So I mean, Stanley would would have called her something like Star Jumper, Star Jumper, or something. Yeah, yeah. Star well, Slider. <laughs> hey, there's a there's a crossover. Yeah. So uh, what what would you uh, give this out of? Um... Well, I've watched it three times. I, I like it a lot. Um, I, I give it a nine out of ten. Um, mm -hmm. There isn't. It isn't bad. It, it's um, it's not it's not the very best thing that I've ever seen that Marvel has done, but I did enjoy it a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, yeah, it had it had a quality that was that was really uh, really intricate. And so because of, they worked so hard on it, I'll give it a nine out of ten. And what would you give it? Um, just because of the slight offish CGI's every now and again, not often, but every now and again, and also the fact that you would have had to have watched One Division or other movie or whatever to grasp what Wonder was about with the with the two kids and stuff like that. Um, <sighs> I'll, I'll I'll give it a eight point five. It's still a good movie, yeah. but I agree with you. It's not one of the it's not one of the best, but it's still a good movie to watch. It's a bit of escapism, a great great um, dark feeling about it, which I, I like, and that's also added from the music by Danny Elfman. Danny Elfman and Danny uh, Elfman. Uh, Stan Ray and Danny Elfman, like together again, ride together. Danny Elfman jumps from DC to Marvel. <laughs> ride hard, man. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it 8.5. Yeah, so, that's still, I, I recommend it for anybody out there who hasn't seen it. Yeah, watch it three times. So, that's our little review of that. Um, Susan, I'd like to thank you. For um, coming back after your vacation, certainly, you did, sir. You didn't have to, but you did. You fool! 
Um, <laughs> I, you're in my trap now. Um, no. Oh, no. Uh, you guys out there, if you've seen the movie, let us know. Leave a comment below on the video. Um, Afterwards. Yeah, just talk to us. We, 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 don't, we don't bite, not much anyway. Um, if you would like to join us, um, leave us a message on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Just say, I would like to join. I am over 18, because that's what we say, 18 plus. Uh, I've got a working laptop or a PC or a tablet or a mobile phone with a camera and microphone. And you, you're good to go. All you do is use the Zoom app like we do. And you're in. You're in. So we plead every week for people to come. Plead, plead. I'm not going to start giving out money for people to come because I'm not that rich. And and we're, we're just wanting to be fun and not... not fun. Fun. It's all fun. It's all fun. We just like to talk movies. We like to talk TV shows, audio dramas. Anything, anything from any decade, any era. Yep. So, and also, if you do subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to press the bell notification button. And, and every time we put up a new video, you'll get you'll get notified. So, until next time, thank you, Susan, again. Thank you, guys out there. If you watch these, please. And I still think share watches. Uh, um, even if Ali isn't here anymore. Because um, I think that's all she watched it for was for Ali, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so until next time, and if Cher's out there, hi. Bye. Bye-bye.